हे गाइस होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल आज मैं इंग्लिश में बोलने की कोशिश करने वाला हूँ एंड बाय द वे आई एम रीडिंग दिस बुक इट्स कॉल्ड स्वाइप टू अनलॉक इट्स रिटर्न बाय प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर्स एट फेसबुक गूगल एंड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट और इसमें हर एक टेक्नोलॉजी का कवर किया है लाइक दे टेल यू वट इज़ ब्लॉक चेन वट इज़ मशीन लर्निंग एंड दे लिवन टेल यू वट क्लाउड इज़ एवरी थिंग एंड एनी थिंग अबाउट टेक्नोलॉजी इस बुक में है नो वन इज पेइंग मी टू प्रमोट दिस आई जस्ट जेन्यूनली लाइक दिस बुक सो इफ यू ट्राई इट आउट डो इट uh today we'll be talking about why it's important for everyone to code and by everyone i mean engineering students non engineering students medical students everyone uh let's see a couple of reasons i'll just give you 3 4 5 reasons why coding is important and no matter which field you are in it's a really pivotal skill to have let's dive in now i know kabhi kabhi jab code ko dekhte hain to dar lagta hai It seems as if you aren't understanding everything, or sub sir ke upar se ja raha. But to be honest, I was in a similar situation last year. All right. So let me give you a quick brief about uh, what's been going on. Last year, जब मैं second year में था, I did not know coding. मैं मुझे बस थोड़ा सा C plus plus आता था, थोड़ा सा Java आता था, जो मैंने tenth grade में सीखा था. Apart from that. I did not write a single line of code. मैंने कभी वेबसाइट नहीं बनाया था. मैंने कभी ऐप नहीं बनाया था. I didn't know what machine learning was. Nothing. and that's when I was like जब भी मैं किसी दोस्त को देखता था I used to be like oh कितना smart बच्चा है oh he must be a genius because he's writing code he's making websites he's building apps he's you know writing machine learning algorithms but then I took up a Udemy course by Andrew Mead on backend development using Node.js and after that देखो the problem with Udemy is that आप motivate नहीं होते to complete that right because these are videos self paced videos you can watch them any time so you're never motivated but still it took me like टू months I somehow completed the course along with my friend and after that now when I take a look at applications dashboards or you know some even WhatsApp we created WhatsApp like few days back uh, with my friend so The thing is कि आपको समझ में आता है कि ऐसे complex applications काम कैसे करते हैं and how you can also build such complex applications or and even if you're not building such complex applications even in the field of coding is required everywhere right because coding is the way you can build stuff ठीक है तो even if it's bio engine biomedical engineering or even if it's plain biology or whatever it is whatever field you are in uh, it's something that you'll come across in life like In your day-to-day -day basis, you visit so many applications built on code, or uske bina nahi chalega. So even if you're leading a company, you, even if you're in management, agar apko basics nahi aata, if you do not know how tech works, then it's gonna be a bit tough for you. So aaj main batane wala hu ki ap koi bhi field mein rahoge, so uh, why you should be learning to code, and this might help you demystify. all the technological things that you see every day. Now something important that people need to understand is what is code. तो मतलब कोडिंग है कोड है क्या राइट तो आई एम स्पीकिंग टू यू गाइज इन इंग्लिश इन हिंदी इन इंग्लिश वट एवर लैंग्वेज आई वॉन्ट टू एंड दैट्स अ वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेटिंग सो आई एम टेलिंग यू गाइज टू डू समथिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से हे गो पिक अप दैट बनाना पील दैन इट्स एन इंस्ट्रक्शन कि जाओ केले के छिलके को उठाओ Uh, but that sounded so weird in Hindi. Anyway, uh, that's my instruction. So that's what I am communicating to you. But what if I want to talk to a computer? I can't say, "Hey, computer, go pick up the banana peel." That's not how it's going to work. The computer is not going to do anything. So I need to somehow communicate with the computer. And for that, we use something called coding. Coding is just a way of talking to a computer, giving instructions to do some particular task in the simplest terms. So if If you are building a website, then for every color change in the website, you are changing the CSS or बोल रहे हो कि इसको red से green कर, इसको green से yellow कर. These are all instructions that you are giving to the computer. And nowadays, the most efficient way of doing things is using the computer. So no matter if you are in biology, if you are in commerce, whatever you are, whatever field you are in. You need to do that. You need to talk to the computer. Excel computer पे चलता है. And if you're able to write scripts on Excel, then that will make your job way easier. So instead of doing manual task, up you can just automate a lot of your tasks, right? So even commerce में बहुत काम आएगा ये चीज. That's my point. So if you want to talk to the computer, you can do that. I'll give you a very simple for loop का example, right? If you want to write, अगर uh, कोई आदमी को one to hundred लिखना है. नोटबुक में मतलब नोटपैड पे देन हिल राइट वन एंटर टू एंटर थ्री एंटर बहुत सारे टाइम लग जाएगा बट वट इफ आई जस्ट पुट इन फॉर लूप एंड ऑटोमेट दी एंटायर प्रोसेस एंड फिनिश इट ऑफ इन सेकेंड्स आई कैन सेव माई टाइम आई कैन सेव अलॉट ऑफ एनर्जी 
or this just makes everything so simple and coding is just like learning a language bahut jaldi seekh jaoge now let's quickly talk a bit about machine learning right uh, do you know that one of the major applications of machine learning is in the field of biology kyunki uh, there are uh, algorithms which sort of analyze a lot of x rays and they can help you detect cancer so matlab if you just feed bahut sari images a computer ko the algorithm can tell you if that person has a probability of having cancer or not isn't that crazy imagine if a normal doctor in addition to knowing medicine agar usko ye bhi aata hai ki machine learning ke applications kaha kaha hai and how he can use these algorithms at different places in the medicine space then that doctor can become a revolution right he can create a new world of medicine bahut sari alag alag cheeze kar sakta hai Now let's talk about finance, right? Do you know that in a lot of uh, like बड़े बड़े financial institutions में they do due diligence for a lot of companies. Due diligence का मतलब ये है कि uh, you know expenditure सब सही है क्या सारे financial records सही है क्या कोई scam तो नहीं हो रहा है company के अंदर and in this space also machine learning comes into play there are a lot of machine learning algorithms which are used to identify if there is a mismatch तो अगर कोई calculation में कुछ उल्टा पुल्टा हो गया है then they are able to detect it. so imagine if a banker is able to identify these like usko agar iska application pata hai then he can apply all of these principles on his day to day job and make it way simpler now i'll give you a personal example of me and my friends we used to build chatbots and last year while building chatbots we did not use code we used like few no code platforms now no code platforms are amazing no code platform matlab usme bas drag and drop karke aap kuch bhi bana sakte ho to hum chatbots waise banate the no code platforms use karke par fir hamare paas bahut sare matlab companies ke request aaye ki hey hame thode customizations chahiye hame ek alag sa dashboard chahiye hame kuch matlab alag si software chahiye par tab hum we didn't have any answers because we did not know how to develop an application for them but now when people ask for customizations we are able to ship them like in a day bahut jaldi ho jata hai because we know what's happening behind the scenes agar kisi crm ke sath connect karna hai agar unke custom software ke sath connect karna hai apis kaise kaam karte hai you know databases mein kaise uh, you know integrations dal sakte hai we know i mean we know how the entire backend space works now what that means is ki our offerings have expanded so we can do a lot more things for you know potential clients and other people as compared to what i was able to do last year so knowing to code really really helps in your career as well now a lot of people ask me which language to learn and personally i would say learn python and javascript these two languages are pretty good but more than the language you should know what you want to build do you want to get into machine learning do you want to build a web app do you want to like build some mobile app uh what i am planning but see i am not a professional coder but i am someone who has realized the power of coding so what i am currently doing is i learned back end uh using node js i'll be learning front end using react js soon and after that i re- learn react js i'll be learning react native which is used to build mobile applications so wo, that's the plan for now or machine learning mein maine kuch zyada kiya nahi hai but if you want to get into it do some python do some tensor flow and explore uh, all these all these packages so that'll be pretty useful machine learning mein main kisi ka interview le lunga aur uska interview dal dunga you'll get a nice good road map i'm really tired guys holding this camera is so difficult it's pretty heavy Uh, anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope to see you in the other video. मुझे दो feedback देना A, uh, are you guys fine with English? Is this the language you prefer? B, are you fine with me carrying the camera around and doing this? Or should I just you know use my tripod and keep it at one place and shoot? बस ये दो feedback दे देना और मैं आपको देखता हूँ अगले video में Bye. Take care. Uh, subscribe please.